Andrew Capone here with Horse Racing Nation, Picnic Table Talk, Day 2, Saratoga 2022 meet, run through some beautiful trees in the backyard, nice picnic table, fans are starting to rip in, phenomenal opening day, about 40,000 in attendance, we saw that late pick 5 pool, get up to 1.3 million, healthy pool, good racing, my guest today, Kevin Strome, handicapper, Kevin, talk to me a little bit about Saratoga, uh, yesterday's, yesterday, what'd you think? Besides that rain in the early in the morning, how'd you think the track leak? Yeah, so we saw Liscano on that four go last to first. Um, he dropped back a little bit at the turn, so we thought he was done, but he ended up you know, closing fairly well. Other than that, I thought the turf you know, played fairly, fairly fair. Uh, we saw a couple uh, lone speed horses you know, take advantage of that. Uh, we saw that nine with Jose uh, not end up changing leads. Uh, I think he would have stayed you know, had he done that. Um, but otherwise, I think the turf played fair with the rain. Uh, you know, we haven't had precipitation in 24 hours here, so it should dry out a little bit more. So we'll see how it plays. Keep your eye on it. Um, the shoot, the brand new shoot. Um, I know people were eager to see how that went. I thought the one in that race uh, broke a little tentatively. I think JB, uh, as soon as it broke, he, he took back a little bit to see how the other jockeys were going to play it. And the one ended up making a nice run towards the end. So you got to think uh, that one probably wins the race if that breaks from normal. A normal code, a normal gate, a normal yeah. configuration. Um, so keep your eye on that. The jockeys and trainers have all said they're you know, they're pleased, they're okay with the way it looks. Uh, but there, there might be something there. So keep your eye on it and see if any biases are forming and use that to your advantage. So you've been on quite the heater lately. I think about fifty thousand dollars in the last couple of days. Talk to me about why you're seeing the ball so well right now. Yeah, so Sunday at Gulfstream I hit for about twenty five thousand, and then Wednesday night at Canterbury for the Saratoga meet started, uh, I hit for just over twenty thousand. So it's certainly been nice uh, when the winners come in bunches. You know, the losers come in bunches as well. Uh, but you got to trust yourself and trust your process. Uh, what I've been using lately is Wiznet. Uh, it's my form to cap everything. And then some objects and a little bit of time form US for a little bit of pace and, and figure ver verification for myself. Um, but yeah, like you said, I'm just seeing it really well right now. Uh, it will certainly end, but let's hope I can carry that momentum into the territory. Looking at today's sequence, we're going to talk about the forbidden apple in a second, but uh, let me know, what are you playing today? we got this uh, pick six carryover. We don't really get a day one carryover too often, but we do have that pick six with that nice base now that we came up from 20 cents. Uh, what are you going to be looking at today? Yeah, so that's the, that's the beauty of a dollar base pick six is sometimes all it takes is one price. Uh, so we had that 43 to 1 3 winning that turf uh, yesterday over the Wesley Road Four Horse. And that's just the price that I'm about making a carry. So it's exciting. Uh, I will certainly be firing at it. Uh, support the Naira pool. The Naira pays it as much as you can. It's a great bet. Uh, so, yeah, I think the, the late sequence is much better than the early sequence today. I will still be playing the early sequence. Uh, but I am focused on the late today, especially the late pick four. Uh, the scratches just came out, so race eight is a little. Uh, I'm going to have to go back through and look at race eight again with Twilight like, Greening Greening scratching. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I feel very confident in the late one. That's great. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about this Forbidden Apple today. We got a nice turf race going here. Grade three going one mile on the inner turf course, which uh, bias hasn't really been established yet, but historically you can carry it over in the front end. What are you looking at today? So. Having said that, I think the horse with the best closing pace in this race is set piece the one, right? So, morning line favorite, Brad Cox, Laurent Giroux. It comes down to do you trust Laurent Giroux to get a trip from the rail, to drop all the way to the back, swing 10 wide, and time to one run closing time. Personally, I don't. That price is too short for me. So, I'm going to be looking at the eight, the tone. The Michael Maker horse, Flavian Pratt's up. That horse should be much more forwardly placed than set piece. Uh, and I think Flavian can, can work out a trip. Um, he's one of the best turf riders in the country. We saw that when he was on the West Coast. Uh, we saw it at Belmont, and hopefully he can carry that into Saratoga. He has a grand history of riding the turf. Um, so you get a nice price on that. I think it's 6 to 1 on the morning line. Uh, and then, so I'll be single to the atone, the 8, and then I'll have set piece as uh, my beat. Talk to me a little bit about, about Mirror Mission, a horse that uh, a lot of people are excited about here. It seems to be your fading. Uh, yeah, so Mirror Mission, uh, I think uh, there's a little bit of a bias that's boosting the figures that Mirror Mission's getting. That last race at Churchill uh, on Derby Day, we saw the middle and outer pass. That was the place to be, right? So anything on the inside just kind of faded really badly. Um, so it ran on the good part of the track and got carried. Um, ended up losing a box to Sam Tim uh, in a G1, so a little bit of a class trap here. But I think that figure is a little bit inflated from the last one. Um, you know, in Wilkes, Julian Leperu, they certainly can surprise. Um, it's not going to be much of a surprise at 7-2. to So at that price, I'm certainly going to be fading. Um, but I can see people using it. I think, you know, based on the way I handicapped that horse on the good part of the track last time, and I'm going to be playing against it. 
So the number eight, Atone, is going to be our top pick for today in Ridden Apple, our, our feature today. We'll be here every day, Saratoga Picnic Table Talk, in the backyard, with the regulars, with the, regulars, with the people. Uh, different guests, hopefully, every single day. We'll do some candy capping, get some winners. Uh, you can also see Saratoga Morning Court every single morning, 9 a.m. We'll be talking to backstretch, all of the backstretch, trainers, jockeys, agents, backstretch workers, getting the real inside scoop of what's going on at Saratoga Race Course for the 2020 meet. Thank you very much. 2022 meet. Thank you very much for your time today. Thanks. Good luck, everybody.